I can't spend this much. We're ashamed. I don't know if I would buy this one again. <laughs> what? You, you're literally <gasps> oh, writing brand new my list. Target wish list right now. Hello? Hello, kids. So urgent. What are we doing? Pain meds and Target rep. <laughs> it's that time. I know what a Target oh. We're here for you. Let's go. Target's here for you. Oh, good. Kick it or kick it. They have a new prestige section, I heard. That's Walmart. But Target now has the Ulta. Ulta. Oh my god, okay, so either either way, it's gonna be therapeutic. I also so. heard that Zitstick is in Target, and then Dr. Dre found a bunch of really cool brands in Target. I was in such pain, I slept and cried all day and didn't apply sunscreen. That's how you know it's bad. Honestly, it's okay. Let's go to Target. Do the best you can. That's the best you can do, okay? Oh, I had to get my leg back into action. Yeah. <laughs> Work, body, bend, move. It's time for a boba stop. What'd you get? Thai milk tea. I got taro root tea and it's mm. super tasty. Mm. <laughs> Cure my period. Patagonia, Patagonia. I'm so excited because Dr. Dre found some goodies and I, wow, we're filming each other. I am menstruating. <laughs> Indeed you are. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I like skincare. Skincare like skin. I'm hot and cold and hot and cold and hot and cold. And yes and no and in and out and up and down and wrong when it's right and right when it's right. Right, right up. Kiss the makeup. You know what I want to say? Oh. Yes, that's yeah. exactly how I feel. Look at this crazy woman talking to herself over here. <laughs> I hope they're open. <laughs> We're 10 years old combined between the two of us. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> Bienvenidos a Target. Oh, thank you, sir. Is that alcohol? So, no, body that is wash. body wash. Shea Moisture is just so good. I've been using the raw moisturizer. What do you think of the curls? The curls look very defined and healthy today. Really? They do. They do look, they really? They look very heavy, yeah. Thank you. Your curls are really slaying today. Have you seen that TikTok where that woman is like, usually I don't give financial advice, but I'm gonna do it this one time. Now, now don't quote me on this, because again, I'm not a financial advisor. Stay your butt out of Target. I feel attacked. <gasps> they have zit sticker at Target. Ooh. I was looking for this. Look, you can buy these individually. I've been used, wanting to try that for so you long. You used to have to be able to buy these in like a pack of five and it's like $35. Like it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. Oh and my God. And if you get them all in a pack, then. Look at this. They have a mini. <gasps> this is normally. No, is this that the is the Mega Shade? The Mega Shade. These are in the wrong section. They don't know what they're doing here. Can I help you? <gasps> there you go. Scandalous. I'm fixing it. I am fixing this. No, you don't want I don't want anybody the to get the wrong idea. Retail worker, non-retail retail worker, there is. Okay, look. This is like a mini. This is normally 40 bucks. I mean it's a little bit, yeah. Pour back. I have not tried this, but I've heard great things about is it. Is that a primer? No, this is a clay mask. Oh, okay. Oh, duh. Yeah, okay, gotcha. I haven't tried this for 20 bucks. I'm going to. Hey, look at these. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I want to see the They have mini. Hyperfade and the killer. These are both super good. Even these are good. I love that they have these in mini sections because normally yeah. they come in that square and you have to buy the whole thing. It takes me so long to get through a whole thing of those. I'm bad. I and look know. at this, the I've fervor. Honestly, look at how beautiful. That this is some really beautiful packaging. It's giving me good molecules. Oh, it is giving me good molecules vibes. Oh my God. I spotted something else I think you'll be interested in. What, 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 what? Oh, f just you. kidding. My hands are so dirty. I, I love you. Actually... Oh my god, Dr. Dre! <gasps> Boosted barrier, better bioma. skin. So this is the bioma. <gasps> I wanted to try this. This is what Dr. Dre was talking about. That looks, let me just say, that aesthetic is really something. Look at this. Okay, look, this is giving me very good molecules vibes too, the ingredient list. It's like listing everything. I do want to try this. clarifying, brightening. Ooh, blue tansy. Oh my God, the blue tansy oil from Herbivore is like $70. Yeah, I'm gonna try yeah. This. Oh, I see what they're doing there. Mm, this is hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and triceramide complex. Brightening, This has squalene and glycerin. I feel like they have a lot of squalene products. How much money am I gonna spend? Okay. Um, 
I didn't spend my skincare stipend in. Oh, f yeah, I did. No, it's okay. It's okay. Treat yourself. It's been a long day. It's been a long day, and you deserve it. I love how they are like, you know, this stuff they'll just put out, and they're like, eh. But then the Olay that costs the same, they're like, don't touch it. I know. What's up with that? I That's... think they're trying to project value onto it. Stupid. Anyways, should I test out the moisturizing gel and the rich cream just to see how they go? I'm curious. I, I feel like one is going to be a lot better for dry skin and one's going to be good for oily skin. I'm going to test it. And since you have both. Look at this. This is all dermatologist tested and approved. At least it's approved. Approved, yeah. Shocking. And then boosted barrier. Here, let me just help you. Look at How me. I'm such you. a good non-retail retail worker. Okay. Working. Look at this. Sarah Vay's out here trying to get on on this. Not interested. I have a vengeance. Hey, my Panoxyl wash. I love you. you. I love you. Clearasil, Cetaphil. What is this? Bior Look at this. Witch hazel pore strips. Oh my god. For Let's an not. Complete assault on your face. What, what the is this? Skin say diagnostic kit. Is this a skin DNA test? What the fuck? Hang, like Hang on. Hang on. You rub no. it on your skin. You, oh, look at her rubbing the thing on her face. Oh my god, I think this is Vanessa Hudgens. But look, here's another one. It's the exact same thing, but with a different brand on it. This no, one's Pure Culture no, 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 and this no, no, one's no. Skinsay. Take, this is take the diagnostic and get money off. This is get a custom serum. This seems way too much like Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah, her whole no beauty. So just silly name. I'm so confused. This is made in San Francisco. Should we visit them at Pure Culture Beauty and go stock and see who they're actually owned by? Is yes. this a Unilever brand? I am so curious. What the hell is yeah, this? Yeah, who owns this? Oh, it's a Unilever this brand. Is, this one's a Unilever brand. But is this a DNA test? Wait, this says our test analyzed different aspects of your skin. pH health test. Okay, but this isn't a DNA test. Exactly. I mean, to be fair, it didn't say that Should it I try this? You kind of have to buy a product then. Do I have to? I don't. Well, I don't know. We're gonna. I'm gonna look up reviews before I make a purchase. But that has me tripping. Yeah, that's a very interesting concept that, that maybe is a little out. too early to the market. Tanologist, Bioderma. Hey, we got. Oh, we got some sweet, sweet chef. chef. <gasps> oh, we got some new stuff from Hero. So this I want to try because this looks very similar to the zit sticker that I just picked up. Look at this. That be Post blemish recovery bomb. I don't know. They told me they were cruelty free in multiple emails. So I tried their stuff and now I don't know if they're cruelty free. Oh. That's why I'm very concerned and confused. I see. I Look see. at this. A dark spot brightening serum wand. A lightning wand. Well, what does it have? Oh. Vitamin Tranexamic C and Vitamin Tranexamic. Well, that's That's fancy. what I'm here to pick up a prescription for. Oh. We got some bliss. I'm really stocked up on bliss. I could use another Bakuchio. Do we want another Hoochie Coochie Bakuchio? Yes. Look at this. We have Verst. Verst has such a beautiful little aesthetic. It's so nice. I love it. I know that I love this, and summer's a coming. So I think I'll restock. And then that's all well and good. Do I need to restock on any of these? Do they have the body retinol? Hey, the antioxidant oil serum is one of the prettiest products you'll ever see. Mm. The retinol serum is amazing. Dude, I'm going too hard today. It's okay. No, you it's not. No, it is. No, it really is. Not. You deserve it because you've had a hard time. Oh. Hard times call for long receipts. You're yeah. not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Little minis. Here's a dew point mini. You know, oh. I like the minis for testing things. Like if you don't want to fully commit to exactly, something. Exactly, exactly. These are cute. Or if you're on like a huge budget and you're just got like a little pimple and you little pimple patch. Yes. What is this? That's a popular Disney character. That's Simba. That's what it Which is. Which I think actually means lion in Swahili. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is the one. So I bought these. These were so good. I featured these. This is a black owned beauty brand that okay. is fantastic for literally anyone. The hydration one was good. This was watermelon. Do I need to de-stress? Oh, honey, we can take all the de-stress we can get. <laughs> Do I need to just, sip and chill? There's five there. Just pick them all up. It says blueberry dream. Do I really need to sip and chill? Yeah. Hey! I definitely could use the chill. Look, it's a patch for that time of the month. Okay. Four patches. Should I try it? Well, what is it though? Menthol and a back. Actually, I could use that. Should I do that? 
You may it's as well menthol. Just, you may as well just rub toothpaste on your body. You're not wrong. This one here, be awake. I could use some awake. Is that B12 really gonna absorb? If you do a B12 shot, it's intramuscular, so that's fine. I don't know if I trust that. I don't know. This entire market right here is supported by the simple phrase, these statements have not been tested or evaluated by the FDA. <laughs> You're not wrong. I don't know, but I'll still take a supplement because it's yummy, you know. This one has those as an active ingredient, whereas this one is not. Should I just rub menthol on myself? You have peppermint oil, don't you? I do. I also have Ben Gay. Yeah. Girl, I'm Ben Gay. I'm Ben Gay. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting my de stress aid. Okay. I don't really need a de bloat aid. Well, I mean, I need it, but I'm not going to buy it. Oh my God. The pain. You could use a de stress. This looks Facial oil. Wait, fresh dew and snow mushroom eye gel. No. Renewing charcoal exfoliating powder. I'm going to try. Should I try this? Facial oil. This has jojoba. I do love some jojoba. It has a couple of fragrances in it. <laughs> they also have a gel cream moisturizer. I haven't tried any of like the well people stuff, but their marketing is really starting to call my name. This yeah, is a it's snow cute. mushroom cleanser with hyaluronic acid. Water niacinamide glycerin. I don't know. Ceramides and niacinamide. In a cleanser. No, 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 In a snow dew, snow dew moisturizer. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said cleanser. No, well, okay. that sounds nice. All right. Sold. How much more can we talk ourselves into in the next 15 minutes? Juju, this is not good. Do you need makeup? Do I need makeup? I feel like I haven't used foundation in so long because A, I started to accept my acne yeah, and scars. Know. And then B, I don't need it for work or like, I don't need it to feel good about myself anymore. You don't need foundation, honestly. Your skin tone is so even and- Do you remember how, you didn't know me back when I used to cake it on. Nope, I didn't I'm wondering not. if I should try a lot of my old foundations just to see how I feel about them now. Ooh. Like, would that be interesting? Elf Cosmetics has come so far. I, I was just... a model for them and they never paid me. Of course not. Hey, look, that's a color changing lip balm right there. Wait, 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 to your wait. left. Color revealing pH bombs. <gasps> no, Those are really? freaking pretty. I want the watermelon one. Juicy watermelon bomb. Does it have a kitty on it? They had some products that had cats on them that I really, really want. The Winky Lux has some great stuff. We bought them in our last Target haul. Yeah, we did. They're a little Indeed, Snow did. White stuff. So yeah. I, I think they're out of their lipsticks, huh? Look at this. They're sold out of everything. Like it's so sad. I, you know, I'm a simple woman. If I see watermelon, it. I buy it. That's this, it. This smelled so good. Yes, Do you I still, still have, have it? I still have that and I use it so sparingly that it's I've, so good. I've literally had it for like almost a year. And it's, I love it's like that. Empty. I that love was it. like it's one so of the best good. purchases from a tr previous Target haul. It Memories. smells like a fresh peach, but better. Cue memories. Editor, that's where you put it in, and by editor, I mean probably me. Yeah, okay. And if hey, not, then let's look over here. Hey, more mighty patch. What's up? Should I get the pore refining ones? Your pores are as fine as it gets. I mean, not currently. Look at more cocoa kind, more vegan ceramide. This is a really good line, the vegan collagen from Pacifica. Yes, I've actually been wanting to try that line for so long it's because I so loved good. Truly Beauty's vegan collagen serum so this much. Is so good. And it seems kind of like a dupe for it. It is, only it doesn't smell as heavy as Truly Beauty. Yeah, actually that serum that I liked didn't have any scent to it, so if that if that sounds like a good dupe, then I'll get it that is next excellent. time. Excellent. Okay, you gotta stop me. No. This is bad. We okay. still have what is it, 950? <laughs> Oh, that's, that's nothing. Look, look, look how much room we have left. Shut up. <laughs> this is not, I can't spend this much. Um, are we gonna walk out with all of that stuff? As in like purchase it, yes. Oh. Yep. All right, I, all right. I'm done. I'm tapping okay. out. I'm not even looking at the aisles. I'm done. Yeah. All right, I'm not looking. Oh, protein. I know, right? I also need this. Which one do we want? Yes. Oh. What is it though? It's basically electrolytes. So you know how you drink water and sometimes you feel like it goes right through you? Yes, actually all the time. I pee like 30 minutes later. I'm like, did that even do anything? When you have electrolytes, they basically help balance you out more. You know, drinking too much water can actually dilute your electrolytes. 
and this prevents you from getting deleted. So well, this is basically like minerals that the water binds to and sticks around in your yeah. body for longer. Okay, yeah. cool. In layman's terms. In lemon's terms. <sighs> Time to go home and skincare. It is, I... We're ashamed. How are your uteri though? Pain. But you're not focused on them as much because you're focused on the pain in your wallet. Exactly! So it works. Big brain energy. <laughs> Let's go home and skincare. I'm really excited to try the stuff that Dr. J recommended. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, time to drive. Uh, We're gonna show everyone what we got from Target. Yes, Target. It's been a couple of days. <laughs> And these have been sitting in my car because I died for a few days. So today we're finally gonna go through our Target goodies and see what is good and what would not be repurchased. We're gonna open them up and we're gonna play with them. And we're gonna experiment with our new skincare and see what's good. Let's do it. We're gonna see if our de-stress actually helps us de-stress. This is from Goldie. Do you wanna, you wanna help us do the honors? Yes, I'm very interesting. interested. Anyways, look at these little zit stickers. I already know how these products work, so I don't feel like I need to go through the products, but these are like little minis and I wanna see what's in here. Okay, it says stir and sip. Why does it, why did it just go from purple, pretty blue to like mud? Do you not say, I mean, it's natural. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> it doesn't look very appetizing, but maybe the taste is redeeming. This is hard to get out. Cheers to dishwater and good Wi-Fi. Is it still changing color? I'm like noticing it's, it's like kind green. of taking on a green tint. <laughs> yeah. It's a color changer. Well, very cool. Here's cheers to- To good Wi-Fi. To good Wi-Fi. To good Wi-Fi. That's all I could ever ask for. I mean, it's good. It's. <laughs> it has like a weird after flavor. Mm -hmm. It has an original flavor and an after flavor. The after flavor is way better. When you first drink it, you're like, you're like, did I lick this out of, you know, like a, a drain outside? And then the after flavor is like, oh, nice and sweet. There's no. some blueberry, some coconut. Wow, okay, so are we de-stressed? Am it, I de-stressed? I don't know, it kind of has like a lemony flavor. I don't know, it's like blueberry, but with more other weird things. I don't know if I would buy this one again. The watermelon ones are bomb. The watermelon goldy ones, I've had like four of those and they all came out of sticks. Does it actually like de-stress you or is it just the placebo effect? Cause that's honestly a very powerful, it's a powerful thing that deserves some credit. You know, if, if buying this gives you a placebo effect and makes you feel better, then that is a perfectly valid, you know, treatment. See, it's the after flavor that's nice. Yeah, but that, that first flavor when it comes onto your tongue is like, like it's, not, it's like something that like I licked off of a, a roof after I mean, I did that as a kid. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just not really getting what the benefit of this is, to be honest. All right, let's try to open Dishwatch. Let's. Here, you Ooh. open this. Let's actually see. I literally am obsessed with zit sticker. The first ingredient in this one is sodium hyaluronic. These are their regular patches. The only thing is that they're like in a mini box. And I know that zit sticker has gotten a lot of flack for their packaging for not being eco-friendly. Oh, look at that. Okay, and then, oh, is it still the two? Yeah. So you're still getting your little packets. You know what, this is identical to their usual ones. It's the only difference is that you're getting four and you're getting less packaging. Yeah, look, it's all the same. Even the swab has some really cool actives in it, which I didn't realize. Do you wanna use this on your on your pimple up here? I would love that to, would if you're awesome. willing to make me a guinea pig. Yeah. Like, isn't that so fun? Can you stick it on me? Yeah, you want me to? Okay, yes. As you can see, these little micro darts that go into your pimple and kind of dissolve the active ingredients into your skin. How do we do this? Literally, I just stab it onto your face. I Does it hurt? No. Okay, good. But that's interesting. I felt the little darts. I know, you feel them, but they don't hurt. No, they don't hurt, but that it feels like, it just feels like a slight scratching sensation, but it feels like it's, like it's working. I know it really does. I'm gonna and it doesn't hurt. Like it does. It's not uncomfortable. Like it doesn't no. stick, and then it's done. No, it's like oh, you can't even see it. This is like the best because it's stabbing my pimple, which is what I want to do. Yeah. You know. I oh, have one of those on my chin. Oh, oh it's, it's a little so cute. Excuse me, little baby. I was gonna say, if you are someone who's like you're purchasing this for the first time and you haven't wanted to spend the money on like the big size. 
go for it. But honestly, with sunscreen, you go through it so quickly, or you should be going through it so quickly. I would take it the big size of this one. It's a sunscreen serum, so it's a very lightweight sunscreen. And I'm like, what's the difference between a sunscreen serum and just literally having I guess, a lightweight sunscreen? You know. but, but like, think about it. All sunscreens are serums or moisturizers. Now, this is also brand new to me. This is the pore back the unclogging clay mask. It's mainly kaolin betonite, propentyl, aloe, titanium dioxide. Oh, sulfur we love. Niacinamide, mmm, mm -hmm. and jojoba, but in a, in a clay mask. In a clay mask also, because I bought this because it was brand new. I know it was vegan and cruelty free. I didn't see that had orange oil in it. Oh. I don't know if my face is gonna like this. Also, these tubes, very eco-friendly, but very hard to get product out at the end. Oh goodness, these paint tubes. Oh, oh, wow. I hate when you bend these kinds of tubes and then they like puncture a hole in the I side. I know, I am vacuuming my pores. Um, This is like a clay mask as far as I'm concerned. Do you wanna try something? Like actually it's kind of fun. Yeah. You can see how it's like already drying. Yeah. It's like a degreaser. A degreaser. Okay, it smells like orange juice. Am That's I right or am I right? It, it smells like smells orange good. juice. That's it has the orange smell. Juice you know, smell. this is very Ula Henriksen of them. It is. Oh I, mean, I do like it though. Lovely. This could probably be really good. Yeah, for, you know, not really for like major blackheads, but for like little sebaceous filaments. Yeah, hair. that's basically what Degreasing. I Degreasing. You know what? This is actually really good for you. Lovely. Well, we'll see what happens at the end of this once it dries up and yeah, maybe I'm testing it. How do you test that? Yes, I would love oh, to. Oh, yes. Okay, well, I stocked up on Burst. We already know that I love this. I am going to open this. Hiram was the one who got me hooked on this dew point gel cream moisturizer thingy. Versed is actually oh. such a cool brand. Okay. This is one of the funnest moisturizers. If you're looking, if you have oily skin, if you're looking for something lightweight, but that actually hydrates, this is so good. The <laughs> name kind of put the thought in my head to begin with, but I'm getting very Neutrogena water gel moisturizer vibes. <sighs> Same texture. Actually, a similar scent. Even though I know that one has a has a bit of a fragrance to it, this one doesn't seem scented, but it has some of the same aromas to. Oh shit! This is oh, <laughs> oops. oh, oh my god! I love how you test things. Oh, wow. This is honestly such a good one, though. It has green tea. It's Ooh. basically water, glycerin, squalene, which we love. Yummy! It has jojoba, wheat germ oil. It's good. Can you see how it's fresh? Mm -hmm. Like, do you feel how it's like, it's fresh on the skin? And the whole thing is that the main stuff in here is like water and um, glycerin. You know, everyone loves hyaluronic acid and including me, like I love hyaluronic acid, but glycerin is arguably a better humectant than hyaluronic acid. I realize like a lot of these are stock ups. Oh, but this is brand new to me. <gasps> You're literally oh, writing brand new my ones. target wish list right now. My target shopping list. We can go back in like 18 minutes. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, this is brand new from Hero Cosmetics. This is their Ooh. lightning wand. This is a dark spot brightening serum. They also have those swipies, but I didn't do the swipies. This brightens and smooths with vitamin C, niacinamide, and tranexamic acid, which is what I wow. eat to not die. Um, like, oh, okay, so here we have uh, ascorbic acid, so our vitamin C. We have tranexamic acid, niacinamide, licorice, willow bark, Ooh. turmeric. Wow, oh. neem, basically like, anything that could possibly help with dark spots. It's like, in there. Put it in there. That's a cool color too. That's very pretty. I would love to like whip that out of my little purse and is this, swipe it around. Is this like a Tide pen for your dark spots? Kind of looks that way. That's the vibe I was getting. But wait. Oh, look at this. It has a press button. <gasps> oh, you have so to you squeeze it. the product. What the heck? Whoa. Whoa. Is this gonna work on my under eye bags? Hey, with the ingredients, this actually would work on my under eye bags. This is not meant to be an under eye product, but this is a really cool and hopeful under eye. Do you mm -hmm. want to try it on the dark spot? My face is freckled, so I'm just like a dark spot. Oh, oh that's yellow. Yeah. Concentrated. So that's the actual serum. How much are you getting in here? I feel like this is mainly, oh. 10 milliliters. Okay. You're not getting a lot of product in this. I feel like I love the formula so far. Like it's nice, but the concept of this bead of this like eye roller ball. Honestly, the ball isn't rolling very well. I hate it when that happens. The ball is just kind of rubbing I on your skin. I hate it when that happens. Like it doesn't even 
fall or roll. Yeah, down. it doesn't even roll. It just gets stuck. That, maybe that's why they put the squeezer on there is so that you, it, I mean, it's a little odd that you have to push it to get stuck. Okay, I got it to roll for one half of a rotation. Oh well, my God, I hate it. Without the happens. viscosity of the formula in there. Overall, I really think this is a cool product. I don't struggle a lot with hyperpigmentation, so I can't really- This formula is bomb. Relate, but it looks bomb AF. And they, like, like, like you said, everything that you can think of to treat hyperpigmentation, it's pretty much in here, so. Are my under eye bags gone? Not gone, but your little fat pad is less swollen. Really? Mm -hmm. That's good. I actually feel it doing things in my under eye. Like it's, that's like the vitamin C. I feel <laughs> it doing things in my under eye area. Like I feel, I don't want to say I feel it working, but like I know that it has been applied. Now this, however, is brand new to me. I only got these, but I got the creamy jelly jelly cleanser, My love. the moisturizing gel cream, and we're gonna compare it to the moisturizing rich cream. Dr. Dre mentioned these. It's a good amount of product. Yeah, it's not a little. Even little here, 1.7 fluid or 1.69 fluid ounces. This is the, I'm gonna try the moisturizing versus the rich cream, the gel cream versus the rich one. The rich cream, so the thick one, is triceramides, bakuchiol, and shea butter. Whereas the moisturizing kind of gel one is niacinamide green tea. Kind of sounds like this with the gel niacinamide and green yeah. tea. <laughs> Let's actually, here, you like a thick cream. I usually like a gel I cream. Do. I love them. Oh, oh, I love this pack. Look at how the ergonomics of this. Let's try this. Oh, that's so fun. Unbiased review coming right up. Oh, that's thicker. It is. You know, oh, I- that's much thicker. Okay, ready? I'm gonna show you a close up. Not to be a bad Nunu, but um, it kind of reminds me of CeraVe, like a lot. This feels just like that um, to me. This is anyway. soft. This is very soft. Yeah, it's got and... the same actives or the same, um, you know, glycerin, caprylic, triglycerin. I kind of wish that I could have this gel formula with the Bakuchiol ingredient, but I will take what I can get. It feels a lot softer. I will say it feels a lot softer than CeraVe on the skin because CeraVe, once you rub it in, it kind of like gums up. Or it feels like you have a, a dried skin. Like it leaves a layer, a dried layer on top, you know? You're but this not feels wrong. like it absorbed pretty well. Let me see the jelly cleanser. Oh, I want to see this. So this is ultra mm. hydrating cleanser. Let's see. I don't know if I believe that. Let me try to remove my ceramides and sunscreen. Mm. You know, I'm going to see if it removes. Do we have any makeup stuff? You know what? I do have a makeup ready before I try that cleanser. I got this thingy. This has what vegan beeswax, the Well People Supernatural Stick. Well it's a people. lipstick and a blush. But let's actually put some of this on and see if this well people can remove it. This is very sticks. juice beauty of them. <gasps> That's waxy though. That doesn't feel like a blush. That feels like a straight up lipstick. Oh no. It's pretty. Am I beautiful yet? So it has like synthetic Synthetic beeswax. beeswax. In it. How does that work? It, I mean, all beeswax is, is a wax. Mm -hmm. and, and you can make it without bees. Oh, oh, well, I guess that makes sense. It's like, <laughs> it's like synthetic squalene and rather exactly. than chocolate liver squalene. Okay, what's next? This, I'm gonna test if this gets makeup off. I know this is meant to be a hydrating cleanser, but it says pump, you know, onto skin and then use on damp skin. Would you like a moist rag just for funsies? Thank you. Let's See, I don't think these things through before I start. <laughs> Bioma. What does bioma mean? I mean, that's like microbioma. Oh, is that why? It's like a biome. Is that what they were going for with it? That's my immediate assumption. Bioma. 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 Okay, let's see if this really does. Hey. <gasps> hey. I was not expecting it to remove the maquillage. I have to use this on my face. I'm excited about this one. This is that nice. removed the makeup. What a fun, exciting. I'm ever. excited about this cleanser. I feel like I have to go back and try the other Bioma yeah. products. Now that we know that these are yeah. so Bioma. 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 This well people as well. I haven't tried any of their skincare, but this was nice. Coco Kind, the oat to milk cleanser. It's a little greasy. This is an alternative to the Inculus Oat Cleansing Balm. We have a beautiful butterfly named Nikki who hates the Inculus Oat Cleansing Balm. She's like, 
we all deserve better. So I am trying to suss out every alternative possible and come up with the best inexpensive fragrance free alternatives. So that's coming soon, but it's good. And they even tell you a lot more about, you know, the production, the sustainability, the transports. If you're looking for something sustainable, they do a really, really good job. Coco Kind is such a great brand when it comes to sustainability. So this is just a restock, but this and this are new and I'm very excited for them. This right here is the Wake Up Beautiful Micro Needling Patches. Oh, it has a grand active retinoid in it. I and see hyaluronic that. acid. So the Skin Iceland eye patches blew my eye sockets to Neptune. Like, neat, like it was like a pimple patch, like with needles, but for your under eyes, and it worked so well. Like Flash my under here. eyes. Beautiful. Like there were, they were literally a different color where I applied the patch and those Do had hyaluronic acid. Yeah. Those had hyaluronic acid. Those did not have the grand active retinoid. So Pacifica is coming through in here with hyaluronic acid, glycerin, literally hydroxypinacolone retinoate. I'm excited. I am going to be testing these out and, um, oh, right now, not right now. I oh. just want to look at them. I oh, thought this was an eye, eye patch. This is a pimple patch. I am an idiot. Okay, but why did this give me mad eye patch vibes? Eye patch vibes. Does mad that give eye you eye patch vibes? It does. Oh my god, wake up beautiful. Like, why would you put a grand active? Well, for pimples, it actually does make a lot of sense. But okay. I thought for the under eye area, that made even more sense. That's Let's compare patches. this to this. So we have the Zit Sticker. We mm -hmm. also have the Hero Cosmetics, and then we have these. Let's just take a peek at this. Oh, they do have needles. You know what? These needles are much smaller than the zit sticker ones. You can Close barely up. see them. Yeah, these are really small. Here, let me. Yeah, I can. Yeah, those are really peely. Little tiny needles. Here or here? Oh, I feel that. Oh my god. I have them all along my jawline, dude, and they don't come out ever. Let's see if this helps. How okay. How does that feel? How does that feel compared to the zit sticker? I do feel pokies. I feel a slight pokey. It's not as much, but. I can, t I can feel a little pokey. These felt like they actually stabbed into my skin more and this feels like it's pushing into my skin more but maybe not actually penetrating my skin. I need to use one of these. These are very cool. Is this twice the amount, does it stick one could be hiding in here? Now just imagine if they made these as like different size patches for all over your face. I love how this has a grand active retinoid in it. So what if they <gasps> made like a wrinkle patch? patch? Exactly. Oh my God, I would love like a full face patch. Like a combination of a CO patch and a micro needling patch that delivers retinoids yes. into your skin while you sleep. Yes, these are amazing. I'm not going to open this because I've already used so many of these, but you know the press refresh, the graphene pimple patch, oh my this God. is. The that honestly, it looks- like, And it stays on your face. It looks good enough to eat. Yay. I love these. Um, this is actually impressive. I love that it's a retinoid pimple patch, but this is not making sense. And um, yeah, this is not the same as the Skin Iceland eye patches. This is something that is a blast from the past. This is from Frank Body. I like the little cartoon butt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this is the original coffee scrub exfoliator for smooth glowing skin. I used to use Frank Body and mm. it was not good for my body. It was like scratchy. But Frank Body really upped the ante and then this coffee scrub, it has oils in it. And a lot of coffee scrub, we normally just see like the nasty coffee granules. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is like, a, oh my God, it smells it smells like chocolate. Destination Babe Town. What? Is that what it says? It says, yeah, Destination Babe Town. <laughs> <laughs> what? Babe Destination Town. Babe Town. I like it. I mean, it's not my favorite smell in the world, but, but. Look at how it comes out in chunks. This is gonna be a mess. What am I doing? Welcome to the sink. So this is my coffee scrub. It actually does feel a little bit more oily, which is actually kind of nice. Oh, it feels very scratchy though. Out, do you hear that? That's scratchy. But look, if I dust it off, it's not leaving me dry. That like there's oils in here. Let me see what happens if I just wash this off. This has to be a shower test, because I don't know what is going on here. Oh, and it's making a huge mess. You know what? It's a little scratchy, but it's actually quite smooth. Okay, let's see. Just gently swipe it away. I don't want to remove any of my under eye patchy stuff though. Oh. Here, you come over here. You you show okay. the hair before and after. So show your nose before and after. So this um, this is what it looks like when it is. Yes, it is quite crackly. 
It's nice that it dry. I like it, yeah. Does the end of my nose have any blackheads? I really can't see any blackheads. Really? Yeah, no, it's good. Whoa. The Hero Cosmetics Eye Sticky, it's sticky. The yeah. vitamin C product, that is sticky. Look, my, my finger is sticking to my under. I did get quite tacky. <gasps> look at that. Look, wait, look, watch, ready? Ew. <laughs> Ew. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Like, That's it's... not what we're going for. <laughs> wait, it's like sticky. Ew, <laughs> that makes a noise every time you do. Ew. <laughs> and it's like, now that you're doing that, it's bealing up. Is it, is close it up. Yeah, you're getting bealies. Are my under eyes like brightened to the gods? Perhaps. Maybe it was also some of the physical touching that you did of it, but. Oh, am I red? No, I mean, they look a little less puffy. Mm. My face, my nose feels very fresh. My nose does too. I am loving what happened with this zit sticker. I want to go look in the mirror and see how much it really wicked or, um, vacuum to pour back out my yeah get me thank you for you know struggling with me through my pain and going to target with me we had a magical time we did have a magical time our late night target run thank you for coming and trying these lovely thank things with you. us you all of the new goodies let me know what you would or would not buy or would or would not try always remember to stay hydrated reapply that sunscreen and always be beautiful both inside and out i love you and i cannot wait to see you in this next video love you guys Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. Bye. Bye.